what's up family? This is Scott here with a quick little episode, a little breakfast option that's really filling, healthy, quick, and cheap. It's awesome. It's just going to get you going when you need to get on the road and out the door as soon as possible. While I'm getting this complex carb bowl of goodness together, I'm going to catch you guys up a little bit what's been happening with me. I know I've been MIA for a little bit, but hey, life happens sometimes and you got to attend to it. And if you don't, it's going to take you over. So. All good things though, I've been really busy but I started a new relationship with an amazing woman. She's, you know, unexplainably awesome. You probably are going to get to meet her. She's a yoga instructor and I really haven't asked her yet but I'm trying to get her on the show to maybe once every week or two do a in-home yoga class. You can follow along and maybe I can do it beside her and she can do adjustments and you know it's just an idea I'm just trying to be really authentic on all fronts I think before I was trying to be somebody who I thought the YouTube viewer, viewers wanted to see but now I'm just gonna be me and I don't care if anybody watches I'm just gonna do my thing and hopefully you guys watch I love doing these. I miss doing these. It makes me grow so much as a person inside and out. My vocabulary, just learning to talk more freely. And let's do it. Today, I'm going to do a really quick option. Like I said, I've been busy lately, so I haven't been doing a lot of smoothies or really in depth meals. I've been doing really healthy organic stuff still, but you know gotta get out the door so today I've done a rolled oats episode before but we heated them up and added other things this one one day I was in a really big hurry and I just poured flax milk over the rolled oats and put a little maple syrup on there and it was so tasty that I started doing it all the time so I'm gonna church it up a little bit today I'm gonna do rolled oats uh, gonna throw some goji berries, flax seeds, gonna put some kiwi, banana, plum in there and it takes a little longer if you throw all those things in there but hey it's tastier and it's worth it and you deserve it so let's get into it guys. Phew! Okay so here we go everything is pretty straightforward we're just gonna put the oats in there the goji berries in there the flax seeds in there chia seeds in there and cut the fruit that's basically it so I'm gonna start hydrating the chia seeds and flax seeds together because I heard that was good for digestion I don't know if it's true but let's do it anyways You can really use any kind of milk substitute or juice to hydrate this, these seeds. I'm using the flaxseed good karma stuff because it's just my favorite. But I've seen people do pineapple juice and kombucha, anything. Throwing the goji berries in there just to moisten them up. You know, goji berries are generally a little dry and chewy. And yeah, a little moisture, never hurt nobody. Got to mix those up. Cut and kiwis are so satisfying. So good. Just cut whatever fruit up that you enjoy. I did kiwi, plum, banana, but it's all good. And those rolled oats, probably about a cup there, around eight ounces, depending on how hungry you are, you know? Raw rolled oats, that good stuff. No preparation needed, just oats. I tend to throw a little fancy salt and sugar on there. You know, I use solar unrefined sea salt. You can use Himalayan salt. Um, I use evaporated cane juice right here. I get it from uh, People's Market or Whole Foods, that bougie sugar. So you don't need salt or sugar, but 
I like to enhance flavors and I like a little sweetness, so that's what I do. And uh, yeah, I'm walking around. Ooh, hydrating nicely. Probably could leave it longer, but gelling up. You know, chia seeds gel up pretty fast. Flax seeds take a little longer. Um, you can do that with your chia seeds or flax seeds beforehand so they're ready to go. Uh, pour the fruit in there and looky here, beautiful. In seconds, you can have a hearty breakfast that's healthy in less than a minute if you're really rushing, but hey, make it bougie, be good to yourself, add all the goodness and mix it up. I like to really mix things up, you know. If you just mix it up, eh, then you're not gonna get all the flavors in every bite, and you want all the flavors in every bite, right? I know I do. So, yeah, I mixed up a while, so whatever. Look at that, beautiful. And if you wanna watch me eating this in a mukbang, go right ahead. It's gonna be weird. See you guys next time, I love you. you.